On the previous video, we talked about how to get an XML file, load it into an X document, and then read the values of that XML file that were now inside this variable called the um, of type XML document. So right now, what we need to do is um, it's update those values. So let's say that you want to get the XML document, you want to take a look at it, but you also want to update some values out of it. And then after that, let's learn how to create an XML file from scratch. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, pretty much the same procedure that uh, we've been been going through uh, from the pre previous videos, if you watched it already. Um, and it's to initially load the document. So I am going to um, load this document that I have in here, CD catalog. XML. And then once I have the file, what I'm going to do is try to find a specific a specific node inside that document. So let's say var node equals um, document descendant of CD. So let's just let's just run this so far just to see uh, where we are at at this point. So. If we look at this initial initial variable, you can see that we have our entire XML document um, loaded in there. And then if we step through this next line of code and we look at the notes, now we have a enumeration of all of the CD notes in there. So if I look at this first one, it's a single CD in there. And so now we have to do um, we have to go a step further. And now we're going to do some filtering. So let's just say that out of the CD node, I only want the first of default um, that uh, now we're going to use a Lambda expression that says, you know, let's say CD that goes to CD dot element. And the element type that I'm looking for is title. Okay, that's just a random thing. Like out of all this, out of all the properties in there, I would want to look at the title. And I'm going to look at the title value, actually, title value. And I'm going to say, give me the first of default of the CDs with a title that equals heroes. OK. So let's see how we did so far. So I'm going to press F11 here. Step through this real quick. And it's going to look through each one of them until it finds it. Once it finds it, it's going to uh, break out of that node, uh, break out of that link query. And then if we do a quick watch here, you can see our text visualizer, that's what it's called. You can see that we have our node, and I was looking for this one specific that had the word uh, heroes on it. Okay. So now that we have uh, the node that we want, we can actually uh, perform an update. So I can say that node.setElementValue, and what I want to change in here is the price. So I can say change the price to, I think right now it's like 990. So let's say 2990. Okay. And let's go ahead and doc dot save. And we're going to save it with the same name, right? Because we want to override the current file. Catalog.xml. Okay. So let's uh, check it out one more time. Press start. And I already iterated, and it gave me that single node, and you can see that the price is 990. Um, at this point, I'm going to set that element value to 2990. And if we look at a node now, you can see the value now is 2990. Okay. Now here's an interesting thing: we're saving the entire document, and this is the document in here. The good thing about what we're doing is that the values of that doc are all passed by reference. So if we look at the original doc right now, if we just hover over here and go into the text visualizer here, let's look for that heroes. One, two, three. There it is. You can see that the node in the main document already has the price of 2990. So that was passed by reference. And then we can just go over and save it. And if we look at our solution right now, let's just say open folder here, go to bin, debug, I'm going to edit the CD catalog, and you can see now that was persisted to file with that value of 2990. Okay. And then if we load it again, uh, no.
no mystery there. When we load the file, now the file has the information of 29.9. There it is. So that's a very simple way of uh, updating uh, updating the value of an existing uh, XML document. Uh, next, let's look at uh, how to create an XML document uh, from scratch. Please like, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching.